Greetings and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to set up steam power for the early game. So the first thing that you're going to need is a coal field, which is providing you some coal, which I have coming in on a conveyor belt line here. Now, the next thing we're going to need is a pump and I have, um, I can make 25 over here, but I happen to have one in my inventory. So we need to get this set up. So let's put this over here or well let's put it over here why not and I like to leave just a little bit of space from the shoreline so that I can walk in between the pump and the um, the steam column so after you've put your pump down you may uh, only have enough uh, materials to make one or two boilers and that's just fine so I like to do a uh, pattern of basically two together and then the first one is separate and I'll show you why in just a second Right. So these boilers have a side input here where the water goes in. And as you can see, this one has water and I have a gap here and these don't have water. So we need to connect those with a regular pipe so that they all have water. Now the temperature is 15 degrees C and that's what it comes out from the, the lake or the ocean, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to get the temperature up, we're going to have to feed this with some coal. But before we get to that, let's hook up the steam engines. Each boiler can produce enough steam to power two steam engines. And it's an exact ratio, which is very, very nice. So we're going to put these two in a row like this. Uh, and then can we walk through? No. Okay. Uh, we're going to get our power poles. And at this point you will be having wooden power poles and basically you'll extend them up this way to connect the steam engines. All right, you can press Q, which is the, the um, pipette or picker tool to um, just grab it from your inventory. It doesn't even need to be on your hot bar. Okay, and then here we're gonna have another couple of uh, power poles. Right, so the back of these um, boilers, if you turn on Alt view with Alt, um, the detail view, uh, you can see that water goes in these ports on the sides where they're connected to each other. And then this produces a little puff and that puff is steam. And um, these steam engines will only take steam. They do not take water as in the previous versions of the game. All right, so these guys need to be hooked up to something that uses energy or else they'll keep flashing forever. So put down something or your entire factory. Um, I'm just gonna put down a radar for now. And so they've stopped flashing yellow, but the radar is now flashing uh, with a red lightning bolt thing. That means there is no electricity getting to this guy. So we need to fill these guys with coal or some other fuel source so that they start making steam, heating up, uh, well, heating up the water and then they'll make steam. We have a coal line here. Alternatively, you could uh, grab coal from your inventory and feed it into this machine. And as you can see, the boiler is heating up. It's at a temperature of 165 degrees and these guys are both running. So that's really, really nice. But when you want to get automation going on, go ahead and bring a belt of coal up so you can feed your boilers this way. Okay, and we're going to use, I like to use burner inserters because they will never run out of energy. As long as there's coal on the line, they can feed themselves and also feed the boilers. And that is more than enough to get all of the steam engines running. Now with these simple steam engines and boilers, they automatically tune themselves to use up only as much fuel as they need. So you don't have to worry about building too many or whatever because it's just gonna tune itself to that. If we look at our electric uh, network information, we are producing 300 kilowatts, but that is a tiny fraction of what we could be doing if we had more draw on the system. So like I said, the uh, we're not gonna keep taking coal. As you can see, it's burning very, very slowly because of um, the very little need of steam. Now, what is the proper ratio for a full setup of this? You need one pump to 20 boilers and a total of 40 steam engines. Now, the easiest way to do this is to use the new blueprint functionality and I'd like to show you that you press B and you can grab a new blueprint here and it'll come in your hand and you just drag it over the area you want to copy which is going to be this area and you can plop it down 
I'm going to take off my robots because I'm at a fairly advanced state of the game at present, but um, I just want to show you guys how to do this. So basically we're going to create uh, a blueprint here and if you have mods the early game robots will put it down for you and if not it's just a handy guide for when you uh, want to do it yourself so how many is this this is only 38 boilers so we're going to need another half half a thing so let's go and put this last blueprint down where did it go there it goes okay and we're just going to cut this off to half we don't need this right Okay, so this is basically how your entire thing might look. Okay, we can check how many of these um, machines that we have if we select them with the blueprint planner. We don't have to actually blueprint them. It shows 40 steam engines and 20 boilers, which is absolutely perfect. And if you want to get this um, going, you can just you know follow the blueprint as you want to go along here. Or you can just uh, use early game robots, as I said, uh, if you like to use mods. So I'll just go ahead and magically put this all down with my robots. There they go. And all of these guys are soon going to be chugging along and, and using stuff. Of course, we don't have nearly enough draw on the system, but you can see that the steam engines are moving. Uh, basically, this is uh, water limited throughput here. So it's um, one, uh, one array like this uses all of what an offshore pump can offer. Now there's an alternative solution. If you have insufficient space, you can make this shorter. These are going to be 20 engines and 10 boilers across. Copy that over instead and just place it down like this. And that way all of these will get fed that way. So this is a little bit more compact design if you don't have a huge amount of room to the left. All right. Well, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you have found this useful. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.